And that's why hard hats aren't actually that hard. Now back here is our hydraulic press. That bad boy can output 15,000 pounds of force per square inch. Now when you start here full time, we'll do a big safety training on it, but for now, I just wanna let you know the number one rule regarding this machine. Do not, under any circumstances, no matter how much you may want to, stick your penis into that machine. Uh, why are you telling us this? Well, Sonny, this is a very dangerous machine. Anything in there will get flattened tenfold. Now, if your meaty Joe were to end up in there, then it would look like a sausage in the microwave after five minutes. It would look like my pet dachshund after he got run over by an 18-wheeler. It would look like the weird melting hand thing in Salvador Dali's seminal 1931 work, The Persistence of Memory. No, like, I, I do get it. If your penis was in there, that would be really bad. I just don't really get why you said penis. Well, it's a very important part of the body. Much better a pinky finger, earlobe, or left incisor tooth than a penis. Yeah, no, I, I think we're on the same page there, but like, why did you say penis over, you know, an arm or a head or something that actually makes sense being in there? Why would your arm be in there? Well, I don't know, like putting metal or something in there. What, uh, why would your penis be in there? Listen, rookie, when you've been around as long as I have, you know what to watch out for. And I'm telling you, do not put your penis in that machine. But what scenario is there where that would possibly happen? All right, smart ass. Let's say you have a particularly nasty case of the clap. Ever heard of it? Yes, I'm familiar with gonorrhea. Do you know why they call it the clap, Greenhorn? No, I actually don't. They call it the clap because they used to cure it by clapping your meat pole between two large textbooks. So you're saying I might end up putting my penis on the hydraulic press because I have gonorrhea. Let's say you have a particularly nasty case of the clap and there's nothing these fancy liberal doctors with their fancy liberal degrees can do about it. You go to piss. Fire. You go to make love to a lovely lady of the night. Fire. And when you finally pass on, you're not allowed into heaven because you have the fire and you're cursed with eternal fire instead. Doesn't the hydraulic press sound tempting to avoid all that? So what you're saying is I get super gonorrhea, which is somehow incurable with modern medicine, and it's also plague ink mutated so that I can't get into heaven with it, and because of that, I might put my penis on the hydraulic press. That's just one possible scenario. Let's say that... Man, I sure do love my job at the Lovelock Ununlockable Chastity Gauge Factory. Almost as much as I love snorting pepper. Uh, uh, that's true. So then, because of the aliens, you may be tempted to put your penis into the hydraulic press. No, there's not a single scenario where my penis ends up on that machine. Rookie, that's a love lock, unmockable, titanium indestructible, chastity cage pro max. So, uh, what, is, what does that mean? Just come on, unlock it, unlock it. Didn't you read the name of the place you were applying to, Gumby? When we say ununlockable, we mean it. The only thing that can get that off you now is, is, is 15,000 pounds of force per square inch. One, two, three, go! I don't wanna let you down